Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video, it, you know it, about Guild Wars. It's that time of the month where everybody loses their mind for the next week. Grinding out Grand Blue Fantasy like it's your daily job or your nighttime job or whenever you go and play Grand Blue on your spare time. Now, do tell me in the comments what is your game plan for the Guild Wars? What do you want to do? What are your goals? What are you looking for? Personally, I'm here looking for SR Fodder. I know, sounds weird. It's not something that, you know, many people are looking for, but it's because of the Dark Opus weapons. Fodder has been a real problem for a lot of a lot of players. These Opus weapons have been killing people and just like the same has happened to me, so that's mainly the goal and what I'm looking for the most. Now today we'll be looking at Nightmare 90. It's a little cute team here. Not not optimal in any way at all, but it, it's characters I like. I never get to use Christmas Claris ever. So, you know, we're bringing her for Nightmare 90. Bringing Arlumea. Arlumea is for the Veil mainly. Not the cutest character in my opinion, but her Christmas one's kind of cute. And we all know Medusa's S tier. So, we're bringing Medusa. Medusa to give charge bar. As for the pool, um, here, here's the pool. Just, you know, the standard Titan grid thing. Mobop. Not Kime. No Kime in the back row. We know. Feels bad. Um, there's two URLs. It's for two turns. One for turn one and one for turn two. And you need Charlotte in the back row for the 5% char charge bar. Because none of these characters are Guild War characters. And they don't get the 10% charge bar at the beginning of the fight. But it should be good. should be good. I like it. I, I don't personally farm Nightmare 90. I only farm EX Plus, but hey, I thought I'd make up a cute team and and hopefully it goes well. Now, as I mentioned, do tell me how you guys are feeling about Guild Wars. We are fighting Varuna, finally. It only took five years to fight Varuna. <laughs> That's crazy, right? We, we, we did have the Octopus as a boss, though, but we never had Varuna, so took long enough. I wonder if they're going to ever add Varuna to, you know... Rise of the Beast, <laughs> where she should be at, and Neptune should be here, but hey, whatever. At least we got a cute Neptune, right? A new cute Neptune outfit. Um, I don't, you don't need to hit Arlumea skill four. I just hit it because, you know, I like hitting buttons. I'll be honest. I am a fan of hitting buttons. Is it a good thing? No, but I like doing it. You may notice I still didn't hit Chrysor skill one, and I don't plan to. It's not worth it, bro. I'm telling I am telling you, it's not worth hitting that skill. I know it sounds insane, but it's really not. So, that's my opinion, though. You may not agree with it. Keep in mind that Arlamea needs to be in slot 2 for her 10% charge bar gain for Medusa. But hey, it's a little cute team. It works. Now they gain charge bar from Medusa. Then you can use URL. Boom, boom, bam, boom, bam, bing. And there we go. At the end of the fight. Quick and easy. Is it optimal? Nope. Not optimal at all. You better, you better use Octo if you want to be optimal. But hey. It's cute though. It's a cute team. No Guild War characters required or anything. It does work on Magnet as well. It's like there's more than enough damage to kill it, so... I didn't even hit skill one or anything. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, do tell me how Guild Wars going for you guys and how you feel. And look at these amazing drops, bro. We got, we got, uh, we got, uh, we got nothing. A whole bunch of nothing. But thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time and peace out. Do note though, I hit, but I hit all those buttons. I didn't need to. I hit it because I wanted to. Just want to throw that out there. But bye.